China A50. The China A50 is an index for 50 stocks of companies with the highest market capitalization listed on the Shanghai and Shenzhen stock exchanges. And uh, today's trade is exactly about that. On the chart, you can see the daily chart and um, we can see it went strong for one, two, three days. And um, the signal bar for me, the reason being why I went long is because I saw this bullish hammer, a bullish pin bar with a wick here where buyers stepped in fast and also intraday closed on green, a positive close for that New York close day. And, um, and this hammer here, bullish pin bar, um, was very, uh, was pretty close. This very major demand level here, as you can see, it went up very strong before at this level. And uh, so I uh, saw this pin bar that was very close this major level. And um, I also had a look on the weekly chart. And you can see that we had a long downtrend here for over uh, one and a half year. Let's see the date here. I uh, was uh, okay, February 2021. So over a year ago. And um, on this weekly chart, we can see, let me enhance it, that this bullish bar so far is very, uh, not very, not enormous, but it's uh, pretty large and it actually engulfs a bigger than a couple of days before here. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, about 14 for two weeks. This is larger though for this downtrend. So this is the largest for about 10, 14 days. So it's a strong uh, buy signal combined with this daily chart that has just shown of this hammer close this major demand level. And um, that was the signal bar I saw here on daily time frame and uh, I was using the four hour chart in order to uh, make a sniper entry going along. And um, <clears throat> I, um, I was looking at this level here. And also this level where some buyers will protected the downside. And um, then we saw a drop here. I saw a drop here for a couple of hours. And then when I saw that the market participants all combined had a positive close here on this four hour chart above this important level. So um, I was thinking and had the thought that was just, was just um, a bearish fake, a trick on the downside. And then when the banks and big institutions, uh, the smart money, so to speak, were buying hair heavily and it was, it closes here. So I um, went in at, I think it was at this candlestick bar here or this one, I can't remember, uh, a minor pullback at this level. So I bought it here and uh, it went up. Um, Let's have a check. Uh, I had my take profit level here and it was very annoying <laughs> because it was so close this level to take my profit of a risk reward relation or ratio of one to five, almost 4.8 times the risk. So here's the, so I risked in this case, I actually bought uh, there are just one contract here, so what, it was ridiculous little, but I have been uh, 
buying a lot of securities assets. So uh, sometimes I, I choose to go not buying that heavy in each. I have also bought a lot of um, stocks in emerging markets and other indexes. Um, uh, so um, you that are usually uh, an inflation hedge. So I will take uh, the money off the table now. It looks like uh, this share will heading down for a pullback. I think it will reach this level. This is the former uh, resistance level and the former resistance previous level of resistance will become today's future support demand level here. So I will uh, buy this share or this index sorry this is an index of 50 companies uh, so we buy here go long i think this will go down to this level a pullback retracement here so a uh, briefly short cap i uh, bought it using uh, the longer time frame on a weekly and daily basis i saw that the structure on a weekly basis here was very close the major demand level for uh, many many months and uh, on smaller time frame i went in for a buy buy stop order and i went in here when i saw a positive close that went back to this important level and closed above so i hope you like this video about the uh, Shenzhen or Shanghai exchanges and uh, I think uh, these markets will uh, become a very good investment because I have been very um, confused why lots of BRIC countries, okay forgot Russia, the R letter in the acronym BRIC I mean, Brazil, Brazil, Brasilia, Russia, India, and China, China, BRIC countries. So uh, I think this market, China, could be very lucrative these, these coming weeks. So bye for now and uh, take care.